hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p square divided by p is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the first method and in the first method here we move this p to the right hand side and you see here p is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by one and it will be written as p square is equals to p times of 1 becomes here p and further in the next step we move this p from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as p square minus p is equals to 0 so that in the next step you see here both of these terms involve p so so that here we need to take common p from both of these terms so when we take common p from here we get the remaining values are from here we get p minus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, now in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p is equals to 0 and the second case is we write p minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of p is equals to 1 and this is the, our second root of the given equation. So from first method we will get here uh, two roots of the given equation. So here we get two roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous roots so for verification of the roots we need to copy down uh, given question statement here it is p square divided by p is equals to 1 and uh, here in this side we will be verify p is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify p is equals to 1 uh, so that uh, here in order to verification of these two roots now first we uh, verify p is equals to 0 and uh, we substitute p is equals to 0 into the left hand side uh, and we check uh, its behavior so when you put it here it will becomes 0 square divided by 0 is equals to 1 and we know about that 0 square is equals to 0 divided by 0 is equals to 1 uh, and here you know that 0 divided by 0 uh, is usually called the indeterminate form okay uh, this is the indeterminate form uh, so if this is indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is uh, undefined okay so if this is undefined as uh, it means that both of the sides are not equal uh, and if both of the sides are not equal so we conclude about uh, p is equals to 0 is that p is equals to 0 be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation so uh, here uh, in the next step uh, we need to verify the second root of the given equation uh, and now here we will just substitute the second value of p is equals to 1 into the given question statement so now we verify the second root and now we put uh, this value of p into the left hand side and we check its behavior and it will becomes 1 square divided by 1 is equals to 1 and now you see here we have a 1 square is equals to 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 and we know that 1 divided by 1 is written as 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal uh, so we finally conclude about that the value of p is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so p is equals to 1 be the solution of the given equation so we have uh, this is one solution of the given equation and now here i can explain the difference between uh, solution and a root of the given equation so you know about that uh, the root of the given equation 
so uh, you know that uh, the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots uh, so this is the, our first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is p square divided by p is equals to 1 so this is the our given question statement and here in the second method i can give you an other technique uh, in which how uh, in which you can easily get uh, the second value of in, in which you can get an other way to get the values of p okay so here here in this method uh, you see that this is p square divided by p and now we write this p square as p multiplied by p and it is divided by p is equals to 1 so here this p is cancelled out by this p and uh, here we easily get the value of p is equals to 1 so here in the second method we will get here only one value of p and you know that this value of p is already satisfied our given question statement uh, so we have the solution set of the given question is uh, one only this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos